to Romania now, where lawmakers there have passed a vote of no confidence, toppling the Prime Minister Viorice Dancila's government on Thursday. Dancila has been in power since 2016, but has suffered several major political setbacks in recent months. And her Social Democrats, well, they faced fierce criticism at home and abroad. CGTN's William Denzla reports from Bucharest. It was a vote slated to go down to the wire. With every ballot crucial, one government critic arrived at Parliament via ambulance to have his say. His efforts weren't in vain. 233 votes were needed to remove Prime Minister Viorica Dancila from office. 238 lawmakers supported the no-confidence vote. The nightmare that Romania was experiencing for the last three years has ceased. Today, the parliament has dismissed the PSD government that has mocked and fought its own country like no one else in the last 30 years. This is the final nail in the coffin for Dancila's premiership. In May, her Social Democrats suffered heavy losses in European elections. Then, in August, she lost the backing of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats as a junior coalition partner. We are leaving with our duty fulfilled. We have managed to accomplish many things from the government program. Romania has enjoyed robust economic growth in recent years. The World Bank predicts the economy will grow 4.2% this year. But the European Union has criticised the government for weakening the country's judicial system and for not doing enough to curb corruption. Some analysts believe the task of tackling these issues and forming a new government will be handed to the Liberal Party. They are the first party now in Romania in the public support. But uh, in Parliament they, they have also only 15% ma maximum. A transitional government is now likely until national elections in December 2020. The power now lies with the President Klaus Johannes to nominate a new Prime Minister. It's a key test for him ahead of presidential elections next month.